Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today's video is not gonna have a lot of action, so in case you aren't interested in that, please skip to the next video. But what it's gonna have is some world building and lure dumps, essentially. Good, get over here. I'm not gonna commentate much because there is not Isn't much that's gonna sure, happen in this video, so I hope you enjoy it, and Bloom City Magistrate. yeah, that's it, I, I mean, I, I don't know how what to say, I hope you enjoy it. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. Alright, all right. now catch us next bit. All about to change, we've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Holy shit, should we go see him? I already told him you go. What? No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. No problem. It's 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 nice to meet you, sir. Look, I'll hey, come look, to the chase. Donatello. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Well, we, we, we're, we're Gatlians, but... Uh, the one in the middle is sorry. I'm familiar with your something that well. talks to Jean through what the suits spam. It makes much you sense remember? that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? But, but you're a big-name politician, and we're out there, you know, killing people. Like, wouldn't that look bad? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Okay, we're, we're listening. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Wow, that, that, that's really helpful. You're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. We're back! So, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Broto's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Oh my god! Hey, 
look at me. I'm the guy who sells stuff. I'm an illegal concessions guy. Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? Fucking hell yeah, we'll buy some alien cum. Wow, you just went right for it. Didn't even ask any questions. <laughs> Didn't even ask how much it costs. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew I was right about you. I knew you loved alien cum. Well, here, have this alien cum on the house. Just tell all your friends about me. Okay, you saunter away. I wasn't saying nothing. Thanks for that much needed touch. Ouch! I'm fragile. I had hernia surgery. Hey, you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? Ah, uh, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really? Phenomenal. I keep running around Jones. and Look, ignoring conversation okay, because great. sometimes so they where, have. Where's the jetpack? Uh, a, a response to you running around and ignoring them. Sometimes they don't, unfortunately, like this one. Hey, welcome to Blordo's. I'm Blordo. You here for the food? Or the other stuff? <laughs> what, what do you mean, other stuff? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Forget I said anything. <laughs> no, come on, we're, we're good. T tell us. Oh, fine. I sell secret shit if you know what to ask for. But don't tell the cops. Now order something or leave. Perfect. <laughs> That was a great transaction of food for money. Goodbye. This is what the warp disks are for. Warp disks are these um, purple gems that we collect from the warp bases. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. But well, I decided not to rest and run around, actually. Um, and collect some money from the lug boxes. thinks it's a problem that we're all so horny and having sex all the time and it's not a problem it's fine uh, we don't like being is wrong you know old people yeah. oh, oh. bling we're not gonna stop having sex we're not gonna stop being horny that's all that's my promise who does fuck think he is but yeah i got Let's get nasty! This isn't something mandatory, this just unlocks a uh, new out of here. TV show uh, where you give this drum to a party kid and he becomes famous because of his drumming being so good. Bounty Hunter, you look hungry! Let me help you out! Oh my god, you found the kid a drum, right? Is this for him? Can he have it? I wanted to see if he has some dialogue for ignoring him, but apparently he doesn't. Oh my god, you found the kid a drum, right? Is this for him? Can he have it? Yeah, here, it's yours. Enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not gonna... This is your bedroom? Okay. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. 
I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry. I'm, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up. Let, let's get some mind. sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? So Holy this shit, uses this the same fuel as right the dash, right. and oh, you can float God with damn. this, and you can okay. elevate yourself hey, up. Damn, you're just like a Tony Hawk dot Floating is done bro. by crouching while you're up in the air. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Before Tweed gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Here, your choices oh, do matter on. for stuff Why'd that will happen that? with Lizzie Trust me, and you don't have to support her just because she's family. Or, this guy's I mean, a loser. Not he scenes, is so hot. He's future like scenes, a I guess. Seven or a high six, and he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed-up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Uh, I'm a tree. Excuse me? No, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. And who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Well, this was Just today's video. Up, I hope you Jean. liked it. If okay. you didn't, please Sorry leave a dislike and let me know why. That. 
And anyway, I hope I'll see you in the next ones. Uh, we will start something in the next uh, so, uh, Go ahead if you want to get started on those. And Jill came tumbling.